also looking at uh, some further out solutions uh, that could enable us to take big leaps forward. And at the same time, we're working on how to package all these different technologies into smaller, lighter, um, and, and ultimately affordable headsets. So today, uh, we, have, we have two more things to show you that, that are, are going in exactly that direction, trying to take everything that we've learned from our research and um, trying to bring them together into a compact form factor um, that could plausibly get us to visual realism. These are all still prototypes, but they represent uh, pretty meaningful steps towards technology that could one day deliver breakthrough products. So th the first one up is an experimental device that brings together some of the latest optics research into a fully functional headset that is unlike anything that exists today. This one we call Hollow Cake 2. Um, it is the thinnest and lightest VR headset um, that we've ever built, and it can run any existing PC VR title. In, in most VR headsets, the, the lenses are, are, are pretty thick, and you know they have to be positioned a few inches from the display uh, so they can properly focus and direct light directly into your eyes. Um, and this is what gives headsets that, that look where they're, they're, they're pretty front heavy. But Hollow Cake 2 introduces two new technologies to get around this. The, the first one is that instead of sending light through a lens, we send it through a holograph of a lens. And holographs are, are, they're basically recordings of what happens when light hits something. So, you know, just like a, a, a holograph is much flatter than the thing itself, um, holographic optics are much flatter than the lenses that they, that they model. Um, but they affect incoming light in, in pretty much the same way. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty neat hack. The, the second new technology is it uses polarized reflection to reduce the effective distance between the display and the eye. So instead of going from the panel through a lens and then into the eye, um, light is polarized, so it can be bounced back and forth between reflective surfaces multiple times. And that means that it can travel the same total distance, but in a much more compact package. Um, so the result is, is this thinner and lighter prototype than, um, than any other configuration. But you know, as with anything, when you're, when you're um, building these, these integrated systems, there are trade-offs and there's a catch. Um, so, so, so Michael, you want to take us through that? Yeah, that catch involves getting the right light source. So hollow cake requires specialized lasers and that's pretty different from the LEDs that are used in today's VR headsets. And lasers aren't that exotic these days, but they're really not found in a lot of consumer products at the performance size and price that you need for consumer VR headsets. So we'll need to do a lot of engineering to achieve a consumer viable laser that meets our specs, that's safe, low cost and efficient, and that can fit in a slim VR headset. As of today, the jury is still out on finding a suitable laser source, but if that proves tractable, there will be a clear path to sunglasses like VR displays. You know, I'm, I'm quite optimistic about the direction that all this is, is heading. You know, a big part of, of, of your job, of course, is trying to imagine, um, you know, all the future um, technology that we're going to need to solve and um, and the state of what these technologies will need to be in you know five to ten years from now for the 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 um, you know multiple generations out of devices that we're building um, and I think you have one other design that you wanted to show today is that is that right yep we have one more design so ultimately the goal obviously is to bring together all of the technologies we've talked about integrating all the visual elements needed to pass the Turing test into a lightweight, compact, power efficient form factor. And we're designing the Mirror Lake prototype right now to take a big step in that direction. So Mirror Lake is a concept design with a ski goggles like form factor that takes the Hollow Cake 2 architecture and then adds in nearly all of the advanced visual technologies that we've been incubating over the past seven years, including varifocal and eye tracking. It shows what a complete next-gen display system could look like. So the key here is that thanks to holography, everything is thin and flat. The varifocal technology is flat and so are all the holographic films used for hollow cake, as well as prescription correction and eye tracking. And so it's easy to keep adding thin, flat technologies. This means that the end product can pack more functionality into a smaller package than anything that exists today. Now. The Mirror Lake concept is promising, but right now it's only a concept with no fully functional headset yet built to conclusively prove out the architecture. But if it does pan out, it will be a game changer for the VR visual experience. And I hope that, that this has given all of you watching today 
you know, sense of some of the, the fundamental challenges in getting to visual realism. Now, one of the reasons why this is such an exciting space to, to work in is that this is genuinely new technology, right? We're not just refining the types of screens that we've had on phones or TVs or computer monitors for decades and that already exist. I and mean, we have to explore uh, new ground in how physical systems can work together and um, how our visual system perceives the world. 